Hello and welcome to the International Music Summit 2013 in Ibiza. I'm Pete Tong, one of the founders of the event. Uh, what is the IMS about? Well, basically, um, our mission when we started it six years ago was to get together the, uh, the best and brightest people in the uh, business of electronic music in one place uh, for three days. We always thought Ibiza had made a massive um, contribution to the, the story of electronic music, but it never really got the credit it deserved. Everyone thought it was a party island. Uh, we know it is a party island, but we also thought uh, that it was the perfect place to, uh, to have a conference of this type. Uh, we always strive to get a great mix of key figures working right across the music industry. We get the artists, we get the producers, we get uh, directors from Hollywood. We had uh, David Lynch a couple of years ago. And this year, the lineup is, uh, is, I'm happy to say, as stellar as ever. Just a few of the highlights from the first day included Patrick Moxie from Ultra Records. So it really became a bunch of like-minded, independent people working together um, with a real uh, DIY uh, attitude and a DIY mentality. And that's what I think has built our scene and our movement uh, as strong as it is today. Mark Geiger from WME. Here's the good news. People like music. They love electronic music. It's huge. The whole business is on the edge of a turnaround. The filters are changing. Pitchfork, hype machine, beat port, etc. And ID and T's Duncan Stutterheim in conversation with Shelley Finkel from SFX. We had a, a, a rock festival, Lowlands, like Glastonbury. They were really, that, that was our benchmark. So we took the best rock festival as our benchmark and we wanted to be better. Also on day one, the IMS partners said their hellos and talked through the headlines of this year's summit. I think we've got a, a great, great um, broad spectrum of um, programming, not just about America, not just about people doing well. There's lots of stuff for everybody to learn about from the lower ends of the business. Next up was the changing face of a beta panel with Dave Vincent from uh, Sankey's, uh, Guy Gerber, resident at Pasha, and Mark Neto, as well as uh, Steve Hume from Pasha, Shane Murray from Ibiza Rocks, and Jan Pissenden from Ashwire. Here's Guy talking about his new night at Pasha, the wisdom of the glove. Everybody was taking themselves too seriously, and I thought maybe if you do something a little bit less serious, and in a serious way, in Pacha, actually is the most, I don't know, most playful and most, um, I don't know, they embraced the, the fact that let's do things that are like um, over the top, creepy and uncomfortable, and at the same time, great music. Um, right now it's not that creepy, it's still very, very, I don't know, very inviting, but I promise it make it more uncomfortable when the season <laughs> when the season involves. So back to Patrick Moxie from Ultra Records. I've got to say, as somebody that was standing here before the boom, and is standing here after the boom, um, you know, I'm very pleased about how things are going because really you can't turn the clock back. Let's enjoy the fact that we have uh, access at the highest levels, and um, but let's also keep the authenticity uh, that we can get from putting out a great techno record or, or a trap record or, or something that challenges people's ears and people's minds. And here's Mark Geiger from William Morris Endeavor. It's big and it's global and it's growing. And if you take the business, you travel around the world and you actually see the excitement of the kids to whether it's Steve Aoki or Crystal Castles or another kind of superstar, it's remarkable to see the kids in Chile or the Middle East or everywhere else being as excited about as they are here in Ibiza. So the era of the underground is actually kind of over. It's horrible for everybody to admit because it's tied to people being cool. Doesn't mean new music isn't there. Underground is kind of over. Lots of people got paid, money's real, Vegas, Vegas explodes, people say it's not like Ibiza. Thank God. Point is, there's a cultural hub in Europe. There's a cultural hub in the States now, Miami there too. There's gotta be cultural hubs where these scenes happen on every continent, right? Because it's a lot to expect for people to travel that much. I think when I speak to groups like this, I hope some of you run out of here, clean up your discographies, think about that. I hope some of you go to your artist and you think about innovative imagery around them, not just a new mix by somebody. And I hope some of you go out and build some of these filters and influence the rest of us. To round off day one, I talked to the legendary blogger, Bob Lefset. Short attention span. Kids today have unbelievable attention spans. You ever see him play World of Warcraft or Halo? Every three months somebody drops dead because they didn't sleep because they were playing a video game. 
literally. They just have incredible shit detectors. They don't want to listen to your music, okay? But they'll listen to the music they like ad infinitum. This is how fucked up the music business is. We're behind the movie business. I mean, they're really out to lunch, okay? So, and the, and the other thing I love is no one's ever gonna rent music. So what do we know? Video cassettes were very expensive, you, you rented them. Then they made, uh, made them cheap, you bought them. Then DVDs came in and they were really cheap, you bought them. Then we went to Netflix and you rented them. Then we went to Netflix streaming. So what we know is the public, don't listen to the public, this is what research, you can lead them to the most convenient thing. So that was day one at the IMS 2013, a very busy and uh, brilliant opening day, I have to say. Uh, more from us tomorrow on day two, including the return of Nile Rogers talking Daft Punk and beyond, uh, as well as producing this year's IMS anthem. Uh, plus, Paul Van Dyke will be in conversation, Fatboy Slim, Idris Elba, uh, the story of Circa Loco and DC10, empowering women in music and new faces, new thinking, and much, much more. Uh, I'm off to the IMS uh, parties right now, including the Legends Dinner. This year we're honoring the career of Fatboy Slim. Uh, Disclosure will be playing at downtown Cipriani. Eats everything at Grial, and Guy Gerber uh, will be opening his brand new night at Pasha. Maybe I'll see you later.